Part 1. The Caracara Rebellion The striated Caracara is one of the rarest raptors in the world. In spring, it feasts on the eggs and chicks of the island's vast seabird colonies, which serve as prime feeding grounds. Here, each adult has carved out its own hunting territory, leaving no space for anyone else. This poses a problem for juveniles, who need food but are still too young to claim their own domain. With little access to the hunting grounds, they're exiled to the periphery. When one youngster decides to chance its luck, the resident adults are all too willing to take down any trespassers. The risk of injury in these brutal confrontations is simply too high. Getting to the food requires a new plan. Up on the headlands, the young Caracaras are not alone in their exile. New research has found that juveniles use distinctive calls to rally together. A gang of youngsters is planning a rebellion. Working as a group, they invade an adult's feeding territory, and the balance of power instantly shifts. A single adult cannot fend off an entire flock. Their mobbing technique has paid off. Gorged with food, the young birds return to the headlands. For them, being forced to live on the margins is tough, and rising up against the adults is the only way to survive. Part 2. The Hummingbird Heist A hummingbird has to eat more than twice its body weight in food each day. It burns through calories so quickly that if it were the size of a human, it would need to consume the equivalent of a can of soda every minute just to survive. Over millions of years, hummingbirds have struck a bargain with the surrounding plants to get the energy they need. The plants produce flowers rich in nectar, and in exchange, the hummingbirds act as pollinators, enabling the plants to reproduce. However, each flower has a limited daily supply of nectar, which means the hummingbirds must compete. Each species has a unique ploy to get its prize. The green violet ear is a pugnacious little bird, engaging in aggressive aerial combat to keep all others away from its patch. The booted racket tail takes a different approach, using incredible agility and speed to outmaneuver the opposition. And the tiny purple-throated wood star has a very clever trick. Most hummingbirds are terrified of bees. A single sting can be fatal. The wood star mimics the buzz of a bee with its wings, scaring off competitors just long enough to get the goods. While these birds are brazen, they uphold their end of the bargain with the flowers. The sword-billed hummingbird, however, has a far more rebellious plan. While the others fight it out, it makes its move. Instead of reaching inside the flower, it goes straight to the base and pierces a hole where the nectar is stored, tapping the very source. It gets the food it needs, but it doesn't pollinate the plant. It's a true nectar robber.
Part 3. The Bowerbird Burglars The rainforests of eastern Australia are the stage for perhaps the sneakiest criminals of all. The satin bowerbird is a creature with a severe case of kleptomania. This bird doesn't just weave twigs to build his bower, he's also an avid interior decorator. His favorite color? Blue. Bottle tops nicked from a nearby campsite are among his proudest possessions, each one placed with precision for maximum visual impact. When a female approaches, he begins his courtship. She makes all the right moves, entering the bower to show she's interested. A ring makes the perfect gift, but she's not impressed. Then the penny drops. He's been duped. This isn't a female at all, it's a young male in disguise, and he's here to steal. He belongs to a gang of juvenile delinquents who roam the forest tricking unwary males. Back in their hideout, they display their ill-gotten gains. It takes up to seven years for a male bowerbird to mature, and in the meantime, they practice their skills on each other. But they can never have too many blue trinkets. It's time to go stealing again. Bowers don't come more decadently inviting than this one, adorned with an irresistible array of blue treasure. But this is no ordinary bower. Our spy cameras are perfectly placed to catch the thieves in the act. Like professionals, they approach with caution. Once again, they pose as courting females, but this time they work together. One distracts the owner while the other steals the jewels. The Bowers resident can only watch as they clean him out, gem by precious gem. Part 4. The Peacock's Deception This Californian park is bursting with peacocks, each proudly displaying his 200 tail feathers. By vibrating them, he makes the colorful eye spots shimmer, a dazzling display of his fitness. One male, named Sam, has had an unsuccessful day, and it's about to get worse. A rival is closing in on a peahen. The rival proclaims his victory with an earth-shattering call, a sound a peacock makes only after he has successfully made it. Sam, on the other hand, seems rather deflated. To make matters worse, his opponent's triumphant call has drawn in a bevy of other peahens, all wanting in on the action. This phenomenon has led some males to resort to some interesting cheating behavior. We hear more victorious mating calls, but this time they're coming from Sam. The catch? He still doesn't have a mate. He's faking it but the lure of his fraudulent call is apparently too much for a nearby female to resist. She seems to have fallen for his deceitful tactic, hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> 